Venezuelan general deserts Nicolas Maduro in highest ranking military defection to hit regime. Here's a summary of the article. A general from the Venezuelan Air Force has announced he no longer recognizes Nicolas Maduro as the country's president, in what appears to be the highest ranking military defection to hit the regime. In a video circulating on social media on Saturday ahead of mass protests planned in Caracas, General Francisco Esteban Yanez Rodriguez says he has disavowed the dictatorial authority of Mr. Maduro and now recognizes Juan Guaido, the self-declared interim president, as Venezuela's leader. Wearing military uniform, Gen. Yanez identifies himself as Director of Strategic Planning in the High Command of the Venezuelan Air Force. Mr. Maduro has two planes on standby to flee the country, the general claims, adding, he should go. The defection is hugely significant as until now, the high command has remained outwardly steadfast in its loyalty to Mr. Maduro. Head of the opposition-controlled National Assembly, swore himself in as president in front of a Caracas rally on January 23, General Vladimir Padrino López, the country's defense minister, and other members of the top brass, took to the airwaves to pledge their allegiance to Mr. Maduro. Several European countries, including the UK, have given Mr. Maduro a deadline of midnight on Sunday to call fresh elections, saying they will also recognize Mr. Guaido as leader if he does not do so. This post received a score of 18,851, with an upvote ratio of 92%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Maduro is breaking one of the most important rules for autocratic leaders, if not the most important one out there, maintain control of the armed forces. If you lose it, the whole edifice will start to crumble in a moment's notice. And I'm sure Maduro is very aware of this, and desperately wants to retain the loyalty of the forces. But he's just plain running out of money, and while he's in control no one has any hope that things will get better. I sincerely think he has lost it. He may leave voluntarily or Gaddafi style. His choice. Serious question, because I don't know of one. Has there ever been an autocrat or dictator in history who has just voluntarily given it up and left power when things didn't work out? I'd love to read about it, if that has happened before. Edit, thanks for all the great answers, I will do some reading on all of those. The Shah of Iran left without starting a war, once the street protests got serious, and the U.S. Carter administration withdrew their support. The belief in Iran is that he took dollar billions with him. In any case, he took a lot of money and left Iran to the mullahs. He left Iran to the protesters, and in the ensuing power struggle which was rather non-violent lol, the mullahs came out on top. Greater than and in the ensuing power struggle which was rather non-violent lol, the mullahs came out on top. The base of the revolution was Islamic, the most important figure was Khomeini. It's the same thing as Egypt, the revolution had a thousand factions, being just a little bigger than any individual group means you come out on top, but don't be fooled into thinking they were the ones behind the whole thing. Looks like the domino effect is slowly getting there, military men, who have long since been the key to the government's repeated repression to the population, have stood down in Barquisimeto, Lara. They said, I would rather pull out my men than suppress the people. It just happened in Tashira too. Putin is waiting. Greater than the general claims that 90% of the country's armed forces are not with the dictator, they are with the people of Venezuela. Which is true but they also are unable to do anything as they are not longer an army but another political branch with civil roles and some weapons to kill disarmed citizens. The armed forces are always an extension of the current ruling civil elite. In Western democracies, the armed forces are loyal to the ideals of liberal democracy and therefore also politicized in that sense. Only in Venezuela and other autocratically lead countries e.g. Turkey, the armed forces are kept on a tighter leash. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.